Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. Let us take another question on projection of lines. Question in which the distance between HT and VT projector is given to us. Let us take an example for better understanding. The question says the distance between projectors of HT and VT of a straight line AB is 110 mm. HT is 45 mm below XY, whereas VT is 90 mm above XY. The end A and B are 30 mm and 70 mm above HP, respectively. If the line AB is in first quadrant, find true length and true inclinations. Let's extract the given data first. Name of the line AB. Distance between HT and VT equals to 110 mm. HT is 45 mm below XY, VT is 90 mm above XY. A is 30 mm above HP and B is 70 mm above HP. That is, both front view locations of end A and B is given to us. To find true length, theta and phi. Let's try to understand this given data by putting it on this normal solution. So we have this HT projector and VT projector. The distance between these two is given as 110. No doubt, this solution is not applicable here as it is. We are just trying to understand what is given to us. HT and VT locations are given. So this distance of HT and this distance of VT are given to us. Also, the front view location of endpoint A and front view location of endpoint B is also given to us. Now, looking at this solution, you can conclude one statement which is going to be common for every question on projection of lines. That is, front view, H and VT are on the same line. Similarly, top view, V and HT are always on the same line. This is going to remain common for each and every question on projection of lines. Using this concept, you can draw the lines joining these points if any of these two are available with you. And that's the point to be understood in order to solve this question. Let's draw the solution now. This is the given data. Starting with XY line, taking a vertical project. You have to make sure the first vertical projector you have drawn should be the projector of HP in order to avoid complications and get the solution in the easiest manner. If you take this vertical projector as projector of endpoint A, you will not find the solution. This is the first thing you have to remember in a question where Distance between HT and VT is given to us. You don't have to start with end point of the line. You have to start with the trace. So this is a projector of HT. Distance between HT and VT 110 as given to us. Another projector that is projector of VT here. If this is the HT projector on XY, you will have H and 45 mm below XY, you will have HT. Similarly, on this vertical projector on XY, you will have V and 90 mm above XY, you will have VT. Out of these points, we have here H and VT. So, I can join these two. Similarly, out of these, I have V and HT. So, I can join these two. Once you have joined this, now you have to draw the locus of endpoint A, that is 30 mm above HP. So, taking 30 mm, drawing a locus. Automatically, this locus is going to cut this line joining H and VT. So, this is the point which is our front view point of end A. And this is the locus of A in front view. So, I can draw a vertical projector. Similarly, I can take 70 mm above HP, locating another locus of endpoint B. 
Lucas B in front view. And this is the B dash. If I draw a vertical projector, corresponding top few points will be found with their locuses. So this is the top view point of A and this is the top view point of B with locus B in top view, locus A in top view. This brings us to the solution that this is our front view and this is our top view. Now you just need to work in a reverse manner that is using any one view, not both, any one view, either front view or top view, rotate it, make it parallel to x, y and project it onto another locus in order to find pro length. Here I am using front view to rotate it. So this is the front view I have chosen. I'll keep my compass on a dash taking length as a dash to b dash in my compass, rotating it back, making it parallel to x, y with corresponding name b2 dash here and then projecting it down onto another locus of endpoint B, that is locus of B in top view. Besides B, you have a point B2, and if you join this B2 with A, you will find your toolet. You have found your toolet now. Take this A, B2 in your compass, keep compass on A dash, cut an arc on the locus of B in front view, with corresponding name b1 dash and join it. So you have completed the solution, you have obtained the true length. The only thing is you have to find the angles now. So this is our theta true inclination in HP and true inclination with VP is here. Fine. If you do all the things as stated in this solution, the answers will be true length 68 mm theta 36 degrees and phi will be 21 degrees. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you again with another video.